In this segment, we are going to be looking at market structure. The term market structure refers to the degree of rivalry or competition that exists in a market or an industry. What is an industry? An industry consists of a number of sellers that are selling similar products. The concept of market structure focuses on how individual firms in an industry strives to achieve superiority. To understand this concept very well, we need to look at the types of market structure. But before that, by definition, what is market structure? Market structure simply refers as number of sellers in your market and how these sellers in an industry or in a market compete among themselves. So we are looking at how firms compete among themselves. And we are also looking at the number of sellers in that industry. So that is a major concern of our market structure. We can only understand this concept very well if we look at the types of market structure. That is why we have perfectly competitive markets and the imperfect markets. Now, what is perfectly competitive market? Perfectly competitive market is a market where there are a large number of sellers with no competition. With no competition. It means that the firms in this industry don't compete among themselves. We just look at it. They don't compete. They are a large number, but they don't compete. Looking at the women on our streets, looking at the women on our streets selling provisions, we see how they compete among themselves. Let alone in the bigger markets, then we conclude that this market does not exist. It is not realistic. Then we ask ourselves, if perfectly competitive is not realistic, then why do we have it in our scheme of work? We have it in our scheme of work in order to prepare our minds to understand the concept of imperfect market, which is the real world market. But if you want to establish perfectly competitive market, there are some conditions to be met. There are some conditions to be met. That is why we have conditions, conditions, conditions of perfect, of perfect market, of perfect market, of perfect market, of perfect market. The first condition is that we must establish homogeneous products, homogeneous products, homogeneous products, homogeneous products. What are homogeneous products? Homogeneous products are products that do not have any means of difference. These products, as many as they have, there will be no element of difference among them. It means that they share the same features, such as the same quality, the same quantity. They have the same taste. They have the same brand. Just name it. Etc. They have everything in common. I mean, everything in common. So you cannot differentiate one product from other. So if we can establish an industry that sells such products, then we are moving towards establishment of perfectly competitive market. But not only this, we still need to ensure that there is free entry, free entry, free entry, and exit, free entry and exit in the market. That is in, in that industry. What do I mean by that free entry and exit? It means that we must allow everything to come in without restriction and when a firm is tired of the business or is tired of the industry, he wants to go out, he should be allowed to go out of the business without any form of intimidation nor a, 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 a restriction. So they should be allowed to do whatever they want to do in the market. There should not be restriction in any form. If we can have that, automatically we are going to have a large number of firms in that market selling similar products. Similar products. Because there are a large number of firms selling the same product, it will be very difficult for a firm to influence the price in the market. It's not the only one selling the product. And it cannot determine the price because there are many selling the product and they are selling the same product with no difference. In that regard, the forces of demand and supply will determine the price in the market. What do I mean by forces of demand and supply? It means the relationship between the total supply in the market and the total demand from the consumers will determine 
what the price will be in the market. That is why we said in perfectly competitive markets, the demand forces, that is forces of demand and supply, is the price maker because it's going to make the price. In that case, the firms or sellers will become price takers because it can only you can only be one. Either you are price maker or price taker. Since firms cannot make price in the market, automatically it becomes price uh, taker. That is why in perfectly competitive market, firm is a price taker. It's a price taker. Now that we made them, that we made them to have uniform price in the market. It will make them to have uniform price in the market. It will make them to have uniform price in the market. And look at this. This is going to be because individual firm will be using market prevailing price. It's the price set by the force of demand and supply in the market that individual firm will be, will be using, you know, to sell its products. And this is let me draw it in. This is our price. Price. Let's say it's four dollar. Then this is our quantity demanded. So if we consume one unit. Then we pay four dollars. This is the point of intersection. Price for quantity one. If we consume two units, we pay how much? Four dollars on each, making it eight dollars. So if three units are consumed or purchased, four dollars will also be paid, but it's going to be four and it's still which is twelve dollars. So if you join this intersection of price and quantity demanded together, if you join them together. We join them together, we are going to be having a demand curve. Why is it a demand curve? It's a demand curve because this curve, this line, is derived from intersection of price and quantity demanded. It shows the relationship between price and quantity demanded. And any line that is formed or derived from intersection of price and quantity demanded is a demand curve. Because the price is fixed, definitely what's going to happen in this market? Marginal revenue, you always equal price. And if you look at this very well now, if you look at this very well now, you will see that price is horizontal to quantity demanded. That is, demand curve is horizontal to quantity demanded. So, if you are asking an exam that in which market does demand curve horizontal to quantity demanded, we say we have it in perfectly competitive market. You can see it now. Demand curve is horizontal to quantity demanded. Another thing you need to know here. Uh, another thing you need to know. Another thing you should know, another thing you should know, that is number four. In this market, there is perfect, perfect knowledge. Perfect knowledge. Perfect knowledge. This simply means that the buyers are aware of the fact that homogeneous products are sold in the market and also in the market there is a uh, uniform price and uh, uh, there is also free entry. In fact, they know everything about the market. Buyers know everything about the market. That is, they have perfect knowledge of what is happening in the market. Then, then we have number five. In this case, we have absence, absence of preferential, preferential treatment, treatment, treatment. Absence of preferential treatment. It means that all buyers are treated equally. All buyers are treated equally. You cannot differentiate. You can. You cannot uh, sell for Mr. A at four dollar and you sell for Mr. B at three dollar. For instance, Mr. A you sell for Mr. A at four at three at four dollar and you sell for Mr. B at three dollar. The difference of one dollar will be paid back by you because the price in the market is uniform. So if you reduce the price for Mr. A, you are going to pay back. No doubt, not to lose. You are going to pay back. So. All customers, all buyers are treated equally. Then, another thing you need to know in this market, there is also absence of government intervention. Government does not intervene in this market. Government doesn't set the price. So you can't have a, a minimum price, you know, maximum price in this market. Government doesn't regulate the, the, the market. So the market is free. So there is nothing like government intervention in this market. Uh, so in the next uh, video, there are going to be showing you how profit uh, is maximized in perfectly competitive market. Please subscribe. We are here for you. Thank you.